Over millions of years, animals have adapted and evolved an arsenal of deadly weapons to hunt, defend, and attack. Teeth, claws, antlers, electricity, stings, camouflage, odor and poisons are all being used to devastating effect in the animal armory. Across the African savanna, where zebras graze, and Madagascan jungles where chameleons climb, these creatures avoid becoming prey to predators stronger and more lethal than themselves. In warm tropics, where mantis hunt, to the Great Barrier Reef, where octopi hide with seemingly supernatural ability. From the Arctic tundra, where polar bears roam, and the Arctic fox prey on other animals with devastating patience and skill. To the Antarctic waters, where penguins play. And over the mountains of Southeast Asia, where the snow leopards dwell. These creatures share an amazing trait, the ability to use the environment surrounding them to hide in plain sight, to virtually disappear and be utterly camouflaged. Abundantly spread across the plains of Africa, is the member of the horse family, famous for never being tamed and sporting striking black and white striped bodies, the zebra. Zebras are social animals and live in groups of varying sizes. They are members of the equid family. They are set apart from their horse relatives by their black and white stripes. The pattern of these stripes are unique to each zebra. But these stripes not only serve to give the zebra identity, they are a brilliant camouflage, its first line of defense from predators, of which there are many. Predators include crocodiles, wild dogs, hyenas, and cheetah. The zebra's greatest threat is the African lion. But their stripes are usually an effective deterrent. The vertical striping aids the zebra when hiding in grass by disrupting its outline making it more difficult for the lion to see it at a distance. The stripes also motion dazzle predators. Groups of zebras are near each other, whether moving or standing still. The black and white stripes seem to flicker as one large mass. This makes it difficult for the lion to single out a target. One would think that black and white stripes against the yellow grasses would be easy to spot, and for most they are. But the lion is colorblind. Due to this, when zebra stand still among the long grass, it's virtually impossible for them to be seen by a lion who cannot differentiate between the vegetation and the striped pattern. It's not until they move, their black and white pattern becomes more obvious, but still difficult for the colorblind lion. The savanna is covered in grass, a zebra's main source of food. They spend much of their time grazing with their heads down, 
and it's at these times that they are at their most vulnerable. Their young are even more at risk of being killed, often singled out by predators. For these reasons, zebra will often graze among other animals that are no threat to them and share common enemies or are even capable of physically defending against these predators. With their long necks and long range vision, giraffe can serve as an excellent early warning system. And the wildebeest, who also gather in great herds, can actually cause a predator injury or even death with their massive bodies and horns much needed protection for the zebra. Despite their amazing camouflage and relationship to other animals, lions have an arsenal of weaponry that can counter what they can or can't see. Their keen sense of smell and acute hearing means that sometimes the predator gets what it wants. and a zebra must die to feed a hungry pride of lions. But at the end of the day, thanks to its amazing ability to disappear before a lion's eyes, its fantastic camouflage ensures the zebra not only endures, but thrives. Throughout time, its name has become synonymous with camouflage, seeming to be one thing before suddenly disappearing into another. The old world lizard, the chameleon, has managed to capture the imagination like few other animals. There are just over 200 species of chameleon found in Africa, Southern Europe, and Southern Asia. However, their biggest diversity is found on the giant island of Madagascar. Many of these species are essentially the masters of disguise. They vary their skin coloration and pattern through combining many colors and shades. They achieve this with a superficial layer of skin covering their body containing pigments. Underneath are cells with guanine crystals. The color shift happens when the space between these crystals changes, altering the wavelengths of light they reflect. Chameleons change their color according to social circumstances to communicate with each other while reacting to temperature change. A beneficial side effect is it also makes for fantastically elaborate camouflage. This camouflage works to not only protect the lizard, but increase its chance of a successful hunt. Allowing the lizard to not just capture its prey, but eat it without being disturbed. Unlike other lizards, chameleons don't creep. Instead, they move slowly, one leg at a time. Their slow movement is a product of their hunting technique because their tongue, their strike weapon, is so long.
It's as long as their body and tail combined, with a sticky bulb on the end, which, comparatively speaking, gives it the longest tongue in the world. When attacking their prey, the tongue is launched at the target and then put back in their mouth within a fraction of a second. The strike is so quick, a chameleon can catch four flies in three seconds. They will mainly hunt insects like bees, wasps and spiders, and in the case of larger species, small birds and rodents. If their prey is out of their tongue's range, the chameleon approaches slowly, patiently waiting until it is just within range. Chameleons have evolved unique feet that are extremely beneficial when it comes to hunting. Their well-adapted feet and sharp claws allow them to grip almost any branch. Even with its super grippy feet and its ability to change color matching its surrounding environment, being able to approach its prey with stealth is pointless if the lizard can't see it. Most creatures move their eyes at the same time, but the chameleon has an astonishing ability to move both eyes on their own. One eye can look in one direction, while the other looks in another. This lets them scan 360 degrees of their environment while focusing more precisely on a point with greater clarity. Each eye can form 3D images. When combined with these other factors, the chameleon can look in all directions and assess distance without moving its head, not attracting the attention of its prey allowing the lizard to keep one eye on its prey and another on its predator. All this as it remains perfectly hidden. Throughout the world, over 300 species of octopus have been identified. With its malleable body, many tentacles, bulbous head, and its ability to seamlessly blend into its ocean floor surroundings, the octopus continues to be the elusive master of disguise. The octopus has eight arms with a beak at their center and is classed as a cephalopod mollusk. Of all the invertebrates, they are some of the most intelligent. Sharks, eels and dolphins are just a few of the many creatures in the ocean that would prey on the octopus if given the chance. But preying on the octopus isn't that easy, especially if they can't be seen. Their first line of defense is the amazing ability to hide in plain sight through camouflage or mimicry. With a network of pigment cells and special muscles in its skin, the octopus can instantly match the colors, patterns and texture of its surroundings. 
Their camouflage is so effective, predators often swim right by without knowing they are even there. If camouflage doesn't keep them safe, the ability to hide in the tiniest of places out of reach will often suffice. This talent for squeezing into tight places is due to the octopus having no exoskeleton, granting them a perfectly malleable body. To deal with the most persistent predators, like sharks, whose instincts won't allow them to abandon the hunt. The octopus must use the most potent weapon in its defensive armory, camouflage. If they've been spotted and there's no way to hide, the octopus has another trick up his sleeve. A quick escape may be enough to get away from danger. But if not, a distraction is employed through the squirting of ink. Many octopi eject a thick, blackish ink cloud towards the predator to muddy their sight, block their sense of smell, confusing them, buying time to make an escape. With a lightning quick dash through the water after ejecting the ink, the octopus often has enough time to find a crevice to hide in and change its color to match the surroundings, leaving for one very confused predator. Octopi aren't just prey for other animals. They are also effective hunters. All the aspects of making them difficult to catch make it easier for them to capture the food they need to survive. Depending on their size, which varies from species to species, octopi will hunt anything from crabs to fish. Again, their ability to blend into their environment by aesthetically changing and squeezing into the smallest of spaces allows for the octopus to be a highly successful ambush predator. Whether capturing prey or dragging their bodies into the murky depths to be slowly consumed, or evading predators that look to make a meal of their malleable bodies, the octopus's talent for disappearing into its environment is the reason it flourishes on the ocean's floor the world over. The mantis resides in tropical habitats all over the world with over 2,400 discovered species. Some ancient cultures believe that the mantis possessed supernatural powers. With its ability to camouflage and its stoic patience, the mantis is one of the insect world's most feared hunters. With bulging eyes on triangular heads and flexible necks, some species have wings, but all possess huge forelegs used for catching and holding prey.
They are expert predators specializing in ambush tactics. Using camouflage to hide, the mantis remains perfectly still, waiting for prey to approach or slowly stalk them until in reach. Once in range, they strike, gripping the prey in their spiked forelegs. Mantis don't kill before eating. Their prey is consumed alive. They generally hunt arthropods, including all insects, spiders, and centipedes. In a face-to-face -face confrontation, many of these insects would put up a good fight and perhaps even win. But when they can't see the mantis coming, they are easy prey. Being as common as they are abundant, the mantis has learned to share its habitat with other insects, many much bigger than they are. Even with its superior ability to blend into its environment and successfully hunt, it's not all easy living for the mantis. Like most creatures in the animal kingdom, there comes a time when the hunter becomes the hunted. Frogs, lizards, birds, spiders and ants all prey on the mantis. Their best defense is their camouflage. Most species are colored to resemble foliage or other backgrounds in their environment to both avoid predators and capture prey. A mantis can change its color, but only when it molts its skin, an important time in its life, for this is when it's most vulnerable. Those that live on uniformly colored surfaces, like bare dirt or tree trunks, are flattened, so they have no shadow that may reveal their presence. When a mantis is threatened, it will stand tall, spread its forelegs, and fan its wings to make it seem bigger than it is. Some may hiss if the threat persists. It will strike with its forelegs in an attempt to pinch and bite. It's an elaborate ruse, but one that often works. Scaring predators away and leaving the mantis to hunt and eat its prey in relative peace. Once again, that specialized insect predator, the praying mantis, gets to live and hunt another day, thanks to its advanced weaponry, as well as its great skills in camouflage. As shown so far, camouflage is an effective talent when it comes to not just hunting prey, but escaping predators. The zebra's black and white stripes against the long grass enable them to confuse their number one predator, lions, enough to make them call off their attack. The chameleon can change the color of its skin to suit its surroundings, so they can use their massive tongue to strike at their quarry. The octopus can not only change the color of its skin, but also seemingly its texture to hide in plain sight of those that would eat it. And the praying mantis blends in with its surroundings so well, it can ambush its prey before eating it alive. These are but a few of the masters of disguise that inhabit the warmer regions of Earth. 
but more are to be found in the colder climates around the Arctic and Antarctic regions. The playful penguin, sleek in the water and also nearly invisible to prey. The Arctic fox, whose brilliant white coat lets it successfully hunt and scavenge. The polar bear, whose ability to camouflage makes it the Arctic's apex predator. And the snow leopard, whose patterned fur blends it into the mountainous regions it dominantly hunts in. Found exclusively in the southern hemisphere as far south as Antarctica, penguins live and breed in large colonies, ranging in size from a few to several hundred thousand, depending on the species. Popular around the world for their upright, waddling gait and curiosity when it comes to human interaction, the penguin, with its black and white plumage, is often said to be wearing a dinner suit. But there is a lot more to a penguin's colour and the patterns it makes. Spending half of their lives in the water, penguins' wings have evolved into flippers, giving them the ability to seemingly soar through the water. Their agile swimming makes them effective hunters of fish. The number of penguin species is debated, but it's somewhere around 17 or 18. The largest being the emperor and king penguins, standing at 48 inches and weighing up to 99 pounds, while the smallest of the species are the little blue penguins or fairy penguins standing up to 13 inches and only weighing three pounds. They split their time between land and ocean for a few reasons. Penguins must breed on land because eggs can't be reared in the water. With no way of killing any threat and being clumsy on land, alone, Penguins are vulnerable to aerial attacks from skewers and foxes on the ground. But living in large colonies serves as protection against these predators. Many eyes in many directions make it hard for predators to sneak up on them. Despite being awkward, comedic creatures on land, in the water, penguins swim with effortless grace and speed, making them difficult to catch. But it's in the water where they are also difficult to see. It's also in the water where their camouflage comes into play. All penguins are counter-shaded, having black backs and wings with white fronts. For a predator looking up from below, it can't recognize the difference between the penguin's white belly and the reflection of the water's surface. The dark coloring on their back works in exactly the same fashion, camouflaging them from predators above. Sharks and orca are some of the most ferocious hunters in the ocean, and both prey on penguin. But on land, 
they are relatively safe from these predators. It's the sea lion that's a great threat to many species. When in the ocean, the sea lion isn't always fooled by camouflage and are just as agile in the water. Sometimes there is nothing the penguin can do to escape. Sea lions also live out of the water, often basking on the land. They too are clumsy, but won't hesitate to attack penguin if given the opportunity. Thanks to the vast numbers with their colonies, these adorable black and white animals enjoy a high survival rate despite these attacks and manage to thrive in their chosen habitats. The Arctic fox has little to fear from humans and will often approach a person out of curiosity, even though they've been hunted for their fur for many years. It is this fur that makes the Arctic fox such a deadly hunter. It's native to the Arctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere and found throughout tundra areas. It is well adapted to living in freezing environments with its deep, thick fur insulating it from the cold. Arctic foxes are omnivorous. They have a particular taste for rodents and birds. They have great success in hunting these animals for a few reasons. One in particular is their ability to blend in with their surroundings. Their camouflage is their ultimate weapon. In the summer, when the snow retreats, the Arctic fox adapts, losing much of its fur with the remainder darkening into shades of brown. This offers them camouflage against the rocky outcrops and dirt that appear when the snow and ice melt with the warmer weather. During the colder months, when the tundra is covered in ice and snow, the fox is well camouflaged, with its fur returning to its brilliant white. They will usually eat any tiny animal they can find, like voles, hares, with lemmings making up the bulk of their diet, but will happily settle for birds if given the opportunity. When on the hunt, the Arctic fox relies on its incredible hearing. Their wide ears face forward, allowing them to locate the precise position of any prey. Female foxes or vixens will bring their kill back to their den amongst the rocky outcrops of the environments they call home, where their young wait to be fed. Their other quality is that they are great forward planners. 
They hide their food in their dens or under rocks for later consumption when hunting opportunities are scarce. But the stored food won't last the whole winter. Even when under snow, the Arctic fox's keen senses will detect its prey. Once found, it is time for the fox to employ its most famous move. It will leap into the air and pounce, using its momentum to break through the ice and snow to capture the prey beneath. When food is really scarce, the Arctic fox becomes a scavenger, tracking larger carnivorous animals like polar bears in their habitat and eating the carrion remains of the animals they kill. Again, it's camouflage skills combined with a great awareness of danger that comes in handy to stay out of the bear's deadly reach. This ensures the fox doesn't become a fresh addition to the polar bear's menu. Living in such harsh conditions, Arctic foxes are ultimate survivors. They blend into their environments almost effortlessly and use their resources to their advantage and their remarkable weapons make them the ultimate survivors in the permafrost regions of the Earth. For the indigenous cultures of the Arctic region, polar bears have always been important and revered. 1,500-year-old cave paintings depict the animal while it's widely believed that Arctic people learn to hunt by watching the polar bear chase and kill its prey. The largest bears on Earth only matched in size by the Kodiak, the polar bears are unmatched at the top of the food chain in the Arctic region. They are perfectly in tune with their surroundings, adapted, equipped with deadly teeth and claws, and most importantly, extremely well disguised. No other Arctic predator is foolish enough to attack the mighty polar bear. Rather than protection, the white fur is an effective weapon while hunting, which serves as camouflage, making sneaking up on their prey easier. Underneath the fur, there is a thick layer of blubber, which provides excellent insulation from the cold. While other species of bear enjoy a variety of foods other than meat, the mighty white-coated polar bear has essentially a strictly carnivorous diet. Its main source of food is the seal, but will happily hunt other creatures using the same tactics, like walrus. The polar bear is hidden so effectively, it can literally walk right up to a group of walrus and take its pick of which one to eat without the walrus being able to see it coming. Stark white coat 
gives wonderful camouflage in the surrounding ice and snow. But underneath, their skin is black to soak in the sun's warmth. while its giant paws have evolved to allow it to walk freely on slick ice without slipping. It's these paws that also help the bear to swim. They need to be excellent swimmers as they traverse the Arctic landscapes, which are broken up by bodies of water dotted by icebergs. The polar bears swim in between as they hunt. An efficient predator, the polar bear's most common way to hunt is called still hunting. Using its incredible sense of smell, it will locate a hole in the ice that aquatic mammals like beluga use to breathe. The bear crouches nearby, waiting in silence. Bears can smell the beluga's breath as it exhales underwater. They pull them from the water, crushing their skulls with their jaws. A polar bear will gladly share its meal with others as long as they approach submissively and ask for their share politely. When the polar bear's keen senses are combined with its great strength, patient hunting abilities and its ability to be camouflaged in the icy environment around it, it's no wonder this creature is at the top of the food chain in the Arctic regions, at the top of the world. Occupying the high reaches of the mountain slopes in Central Asia, and playing a significant role in local cultures is the ultimate master of disguise, a strong and agile hunter, the snow leopard. Slightly smaller than most big cats, a large male could weigh up to 165 pounds. Their long, thick fur varies in color depending on the seasons, from dark gray to a yellowish color in the summer. Snow leopards are carnivores who actively hunt prey despite rarely being witnessed. They are effective killers able to take down prey two to four times their own body weight, like ibex and markhor, but will readily kill smaller creatures like hares and birds. Whatever animal comes close is likely to end up as the snow leopard's meal, not even knowing what struck it, thanks to the leopard's supreme disguise. When hunting, Snow leopards prefer to ambush their prey from above, using their fur against the rocky terrain to hide their approach. If spotted, they will chase their prey down the mountain slope until they catch it, killing it with a bite to the neck.
Snow leopards are most active at dawn and dusk. They are extremely secretive and hard to spot because of their wonderful camouflage. Their color is broken up with gray to black rosettes on their bodies, with spots on their heads, limbs, and tails. This coloration pattern lends itself to a perfect camouflage amongst the rocky outcrops and snow-laden mountainsides. It's not unusual for a snow leopard to drag its kill to safety before feeding, eating all edible parts. A snow leopard can survive on a single kill of a large animal for two weeks. In the warmer months, when the snow and ice have melted and the forests at the foot of the mountains spring to life, the snow leopard easily relocates and hunts among the foliage and shrubs. Thanks to the patterns and color of its fur, the leopard remains beautifully camouflaged, blending in with the speckled shadows cast by leaves and branches, while its fur is hard to distinguish in the bright light. Whether on the mountain slopes or in the nearby forests, the snow leopard is incredibly silent, treading lightly in order not to alert potential prey. They reveal their presence in their habitat by scent, marking to keep away others of the same sex and to greet those of the opposite one. They sleep in different spots nearly every night, so they are always on the move, making them unpredictable and harder to detect. Their range was estimated to be around 5 to 14 square miles, but they seem to cover even more ground than that. In one case, scientists discovered a snow leopard migrating 375 miles. For millennia, this magnificent cat was the king of the mountains, but their population is dropping. The snow leopard habitat range continues to decline from human settlement and increased use of grazing space. This development increasingly fragments the historic range of this amazing species. The monochromatic stripes of the zebra bamboozle predators like the lion into not attacking. The chameleon can instantly change its color depending on how it feels before deploying its tongue to snatch a fly from the air in less than a second. The octopus can also change its color to disappear into its surroundings while also fitting into nooks and crannies much smaller than they actually are. The patient praying mantis waits to ambush its prey while perfectly blending into its surroundings. Penguins are easy targets on land, but in the water, they swim with speed and grace while appearing virtually invisible to predators below and above. The Arctic fox's coat changes color with the seasons blending with the earthy tones of rocky outcrops in summer and white snow in winter. The polar bear is lost amongst the blinding ice as it hunts the Arctic tundras. And the snow leopard is deaf from above for unsuspecting prey, unable to see the attack coming due to the color and pattern of its coat. Human beings have adapted to become the dominant force on the planet. But where we have evolved intellectually, animals continue to evolve physically. 
granting them the powerful weaponry found in the animal armory.